Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're talking about 1995 Select Certified. This was a Pinnacle brand back in the day. Now, Panini has broken these out into two different brands. They're Select and they're Certified. All right, well, back then it was Select Certified and these looked so nice. When I first opened up the packs of these, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how beautiful these are. Now, first thing that's important is it's in a bag that fits really tight. Can you see this is a good fitting bag? It fits nicely. It doesn't slide back and forth like some of my other, uh, uh, some of my other, because I ran out of the tight sleeves. So now some of my cards are in these loosey goosey ones. Yeah, well, this one luckily is in a fitting bag. Just spend, just go out and spend the eight bucks and get some bags that your PSA cards fit in, please. For me, drives me nuts. Now, select certified. So they come in these little boxes. I have one kicking around somewhere. I don't know where it is. We just moved recently. And so they came in these little boxes and each box was like the pack. So you'd open up the little box and you'd pull these out. I remember one of the first cards I pulled was a Steve Air McNair gold team. And I was like, oh my gosh, these cards, not only are the base cards beautiful and shiny, but the inserts are amazing as well. And so obviously baseball, I'm opening up baseball packs and what do I find? I find the, oh, is this a box hit? Or this isn't a case hit, but this, I think this is a box hit. Uh, maybe it's a case hit. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> potential unlimited. These are just younger players with unlimited potential. That's hence the name potential unlimited. And they had this nice foiling and the characters like popping out. It's like they're popping out of the, you remember back in the day what cards looked like? So these were just phenomenal looking. I couldn't believe it. And this is, these are some of the first cards that came back with, oh, a serial number. Not like they actually didn't number them one, two, three, all the way up to 1975, but they told you how many were printed. So there's only 2,000 of these, basically 2,000 of these in the world. And I, <laughs> it cracks me up. I still laugh every time this happens, but when my son, who's seven, okay, give him a break. He's seven years old. I have to explain to him. He's like, look, this one, there's only 20 of these in the world. I'm like, no, that's not the serial number. This is, he's like, oh, there's 1,975, he's very specific. I can't just round up, it's very very pedantic for a seven-year-old. Maybe seven-year-olds are normally pedantic, maybe he's average, I don't know. I only have one seven-year-old. So one of, you know, this was amazing back in the day. Can you imagine in 95, after the early 90s, where they were just rolling these things off the presses like nothing, like newspaper. There were so many, You, I mean, Maybe there could be millions, tens of millions of versions of one card. We just don't had no idea. It felt like that sometimes in the early 90s, like 91, 92, looking at you, Tops, and Upper Deck. Oh my gosh, there were so many. And then come 95, all of a sudden, it just blew my mind as, you know, a kid. How old was I? In? I was, what, 16 or 17. I was just, you know, just got my card, just driving to the card shop. And, you know, what do I pull? One of these. And it's just like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? And you can see there's a little, there's some dust in there and there's a little surface imperfection. So obviously it's not a PSA 10, but still a very memorable card. And this changed card collecting for me. The two things, I think the two biggest advancements in the last 40 years isn't the card stock isn't, you know, maybe you could say the photographic quality maybe is a little bit better. I don't, I might not just say, I might not agree with that. To me, the biggest things are realizing that people want scarcity, serial, the serializing, serializing, is that a word? The serial numbers associated with the card and grading. Those are the huge developments. But now people disagree with me. Some people hate grading. Some people like it. It is what it is, okay? I mean, I've always, I like getting cards that are not 10 because I feel like it's an honest evaluation. I don't mind buying a six, a seven, an eight. I don't mind selling a six, seven, or eight because it's an honest, hey, you know what? I'm selling a card and I want to accurately represent what it is. Yes, I agree that some, you know, some of that there have been attempts to fake, make fake slabs. Anyway, Chipper Jones, very interesting. Select, you can see right here, it says Select Certified Edition 1995 down here in the bottom right. It has this baseball diamond cutout right here with the player in the middle, usually their head popping out the top, but over, but the overlapping base here. So it gives, gives that three-dimensional depth. The name here in black, 
Potential Unlimited here, top left in this case. Are they all like that? There were 20 of them made in baseball. Potential Unlimited, a little thing. No statistics like we expected for so long from baseball cards. And the name right here with an additional photo. Very, to me, a very wonderful card. The Braves were always my team, Atlanta Braves. Lived in Atlanta, love the Braves. I know people got kind of sick of them winning so much in the 90s. And I remember the whole 90s strike and everything, you know, people talking about juicing, people talking about the the PEDs, the prohibited, what is it? Is that what it, PDEs? Is it, it maybe per, enhancing performance, enha PED, performance enhancing drugs, right? That's why we love Frank Thomas and Ken Griffey Jr. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about Chipper Jones and the 1995 Select Certified cards. To me, it's one of my all-time favorite sets. I have an unopened box of baseball kicking around here somewhere in a box somewhere. I need to take better care of my stuff. Either way, uh, I also have some uh, 1995 Select Certified football unopened boxes as well. Either way, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. If you want to support this channel, you can join us on Patreon. We like to, you can message me personally. I like to respond to every patron message. You can support me by shopping at my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.